friends so you all are welcome in uh, our topic problem solving in artificial intelligence in our previous videos we have discussed uh, different concepts of uh, problem solving by searching like we have discussed state space search we have discussed uh, different forms of searching uh, say uh, informed search and uninformed search and then we have discussed one of uh, the uninformed search that is breadth first search uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss another uh, searching technique of uninformed search that is depth first search. So let me start. The depth first search algorithm basically puts the newly generated nodes in the front of open. Why we are saying this? Because in breadth first search, what we have learned that we put the newly generated nodes at the end of open. Open is basically a list that in which we will just keep continuing the generated nodes. Okay. Uh, after that, what will happen? The result is expanding the deepest node first. So whenever you will have some node, it will go to the deepest of that one. Because every time it will put the newly generated nodes to the front of open. We will discuss this with example later on. So finally, what we can say that uh, the open uh, list basically follow the last and first out order. Okay, so whatever input it will be generated at the first one. So last in first out will be the order that will be followed by the list. So we can say that it basically implement a stack data structure. Okay, let's see how it works basically. This is a graph in this figure. We are just we just have converted this figure, this graph into a tree structure, right? So this is the tree in which uh, we are going to implement the depth first search algorithm okay what will happen in step one this is the open open list initially the root of that tree will be taken okay. after that what we will, we will just generate the successors of this specific root and we will remove that specific element from this and its child's b and c will be added to the list so now the newly generated fringe or open list is B, C. Now, because B is at the first position here, we will pick this B and then we will find out what successors B is having, that is having D and E. And as we have discussed earlier, that now these Okay, so sub D now, they are C and E, F. So C and F will be picked from here. D will be removed and C and F will be added at the front of this fringe. So the new fringe will be C, F, E, C. After that, again, the C will be gathered up. C will be picked. Its uh, basic child is G that will be added. C will be removed and G will be added over here. So the new one will be G, F, E, C. Okay. <clears throat> so now in that case, what we are seeing? G is here. G is S. What we are seeing, we are seeing that this is the open list in which we are adding the newly generated elements at the front of this list. So, and what we are picking? The last in, first out. Whatever inputted at the last, see G is here, that will be picked at the first. So last in, first out structure is here that we are using in depth first search. So basic properties of depth first search are the algorithm takes exponential time. That is big O, B to the power D, where B is the total number of nodes and D is the depth that is having uh, in that search space. And the space taken is linear. Linear means it will be big O, B, N. The time taken by algorithm is related to the maximum depth of the search tree. Whatever the search tree is having, the maximum depth that will be taken by the algorithms. If the search tree has infinite depth, suppose we have the search tree that is having infinite depth, then what will happen? The algorithm may not terminate. It will be endless in that case. So this can happen when the search space is infinite. It can also happen if the search space contains cycles. 
So in the both in both the cases, if the search space is infinite and the search space contains cycles, the, the loop will never be ended up. It will be infinite. It will not be terminated. Okay. So we can say that depth first search is not complete. While in case of breadth first search, we have discussed that it is a complete solution. So guys, this is enough for this uh, video lecture. In the next video lecture, we will discuss some other uninformed search strategies. Till then, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.